Yo guys, what is up? I am Drea Dreamer, and today I am playing Guilt. Um, this is a game that uh, my friend Dom suggested to me a while ago. I forget exactly how, but they suggested um, that I play this game, because I don't remember why. I think they said it's something about like drunk driving, so like the content matter here is probably going to be very heavy. Um, but I'm really interested in it, and um, I've been meaning to play it for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it, so today seemed like a good day for that, so, uh, should we go to- let's just start. Uh. What? what? Oh. This, oh, I'm in a hospital. Wow, usually you complain about really high mouse sensitivity. sensitivity. This is kind of low. Yeah. Weird. So, I'm in a hospital. Uh, I'm guessing everything outlined in red I can interact with. Uh, okay. Oh, pretty high. You're talking kind of loud. Like, in comparison to, like, the music in the background, he's really loud. Mm-hmm. It's locked. Okay. Oh, a greeting card. Oh, okay. You destroyed my life. Oh, um, that, like, the transition from that was kind of dramatic. I guess I wasn't supposed to read them that rapidly in succession. Okay. Concussion, broken arm, dislocated shoulder. I, I, I can't remember anything. Should you not be out of bed right now? Because I have a feeling you probably shouldn't. Um, so... <sighs> I hate needles in my arm. It's a good thing you aren't conscious for it then. Um. Is this not. Wait. Guess I'm alone. Yeah. The door opened. Yes, you do seem to be alone. Okay, see, so yeah, I do How think this. How did I get here? Fair question. Um. Okay, wait. What a cute little guy. Yeah. Seems like a happy family. But who are they? I've never seen them before. Two candles. That at least explains the teddy. Oh, phone's ringing. Oh, I must be on some heavy shit. Could be dead. Hello? Yeah, it's me. I'm what? You're sorry, that's it. Oh. Uh, Fuck you too. I was really Just a confused. Little bit of drinking never hurt anybody. It's a fucking raven here. Yeah, um, my computer did the thing again where it says I'm not actually in the uh tab that I'm in. Now I'm gonna be able to click outside the screen. Yay! Oh good. I love this. This is my favorite thing. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna fix this. Okay, so we're back to the rave. Oh yeah, I probably should put a seizure warning on this. Um, but yeah, so... From what I understand so far in the game, uh, something happened. He got a call, and uh... He got upset, so he went out drinking, and he went to a rave, and... Why is this... Two tequila shots! No, wait, oh. Uh, Oh, uh, no. Ah. Uh. Yay. Oh, so. Not exactly my music, but who cares? Yo, a triple whiskey, please. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't like this. The music's so loud. Give me four more shots. Aw, oh, man, dude. So. A few more minutes. No. I'm old. Oh, God. Better not get pulled over right now. Yeah, that's the biggest one of your worries. Oh. God. Oh, 
What have I done? Oh god. I wouldn't want to fall down there. Or would I? No, you wouldn't. That would be bad. Oh god. You destroyed my life. I guess I really did. Okay, so like, just a real quick side note. I understand this guy, like, ruined your life. Like, you're probably the mother of this kid. Like, I understand. That's, like, horrible. Like, can't you just wait till, like, you meet him face to face and he's not literally just getting out of the hos uh, hospital bed with a concussion and stuff? Like, and through a greeting card? Because, like... I mean, I, I understand this person's feeling extremely upset by what this guy's done, but, like... I don't know. I just feel like that's a that's a bit over the top. Heavy concussion, broken arm, dislocated shoulder, one hell of a hit. Yeah, well, that door's open now. Must be the living room of the family. Oh, am I gonna keep going? Oh my god, that's so cool. So I just keep going through this again and again, and like. Why? How could that happen? Why? No, that's not. How could that happen? Fuck. Only two. So young. Oh, and the picture shattered oh, now. Gone. Oh. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> I know. I'm fired. Goodbye. Uh, so. This is so interesting because it's just like. I have to drink again. Oh. I guess I have to. No, this is awful. So this guy's just basically reliving this over and over again. Like, in a dream. And like. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh man. That's gotta be the worst. I won't hit them. God. It's awful. Oh no. I guess there really is only one way. Oh no. Do I have to? I don't want to. No. There's stores open. There's not. Oh, come on, computer, not now. This is weird. What's going on? It's so weird. Oh. No, don't tell me that. I guess there really is. Hope no, no, I don't want to, though. Do I have to? Okay, computer, you can fuck off. I'm having a moment here. Hang on. This is a lesson to you guys. Make sure you always plug in your computer, otherwise, it gets annoying like that. But. So, like, if I keep going this. through this. If I go walk through that door, I have to relive this. I have to keep... Let me just make sure that that's what's going on. So yeah, I just keep reliving this over and over. And like... God, it's so awful. Like... He's just so, like, overcome by his guilt that, like... All he can do is keep reliving this over and over. The name of the game is literally guilt, I just remembered that. Like, this- he feels so guilty about this, which like... I mean... I there really is why wouldn't you? One way out. But like... God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Do you have to? God. God, that's so awful. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. That was intense. That was really intense. So I finished my recording and um, afterwards I was listening back to it while editing and I wasn't really happy with uh, my little PSA that, you know, I felt it needed at the end of the uh, video. Because um, this is a video that does lend itself to PSAs about drinking and driving. And so I just kind of, like, I get rambly a lot, so um, I wanted to sit down and record my thoughts in an organized manner rather than the jumble that was the end of the video that I had originally recorded. So um, I just kind of want to mention, like, you know, alcohol in general. Um, it's not a good idea to deal with your issues by with alcohol. It's not ever a good idea to, like, use alcohol to cope with your problems, um, which was what that guy was doing. He was upset about losing his job, so, you know, he used alcohol to try to numb the pain, so to speak, and that's never a good idea. It never helps anything, like, to just get drunk. And, like, I understand some people, some people see alcohol as, like, a very useful way to sort of get out of those situations that they're in, and it's never a good idea to turn to alcohol. If you're in a situation where, like, you really don't think you can handle it by yourself, then you should, you know, get help, like, however you can, just talk to someone, rather than turning to something that can, that can, and might it might very well destroy your life and you know if you are struggling with like an alcohol addiction um alcoholism is a very real and very very dangerous thing and it can really really ruin lives so if you are struggling with something like uh, the cliche the first step is admitting you have a problem you should try to find help try to find out how you can stop yourself from depending on alcohol you know, to function, because that, I think, is probably one of the worst things that can happen to a person, is that they become addicted to something, like, especially something as so, so easily accessible as alcohol. Um, and, you know, the final point on that is just, like, if you're going to drink, um, regardless of your age, like, just do it responsibly. Don't be an idiot. Like, alcohol is something that like it can be fun it can be you know a bonding experience whatever but if you don't do it responsibly it can hurt you like i i don't think that it's ever a good idea to drink till you're blackout drunk because that's when stuff like alcohol poisoning happens and and it's all really really dangerous stuff and you know just just always make sure you're being responsible, no matter what you're doing or who you're with. Now, as for the driving part, um, which was one of the bigger points of this, don't drive after drinking. It's, it's stupid. It's dangerous. You can not only hurt yourself, but everyone around you. When you get into a car and you are intoxicated, you are a danger to everyone around you. And, you know, it might not feel like that, you know, you might feel perfectly in control, but if you've had, like, you know, like all of those commercials say, if you've had, like, one drink, your driving ability is impaired, and, you know, it's, like, you're driving a car, and a car is, like, a bunch of pounds of metal and plastic that can really hurt someone if you're going really fast or moving really suddenly, and... You know, it's never, ever safe to drive while you're intoxicated at any level. And it's illegal, also. That's a point that you should know. But, like, it's also just stupid. And, I mean, I don't want to, like, say it like that. That's probably a really poor way of saying it. But it's never worth the risk to drive while you're drunk. Like, 
there's stuff like Uber, there's taxis, you can call a friend or your parents or someone, like, you should never, there's no situation where you absolutely have to drive while you are drunk. You can, like, I mean, I know it costs money to take an Uber and then you have to go back the next day to get your car, but, like, it's so much safer and you don't, ri you don't run the risk of, you know, stuff like this happening. So, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's really all I got for that, but, just, again, just be safe, be responsible, know what you're drinking, know how much you're drinking, know how much you can handle, and don't go over that, and, yeah, I guess that's really all I have. That's probably a much better PSA than what I gave earlier, so, yeah, um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Love you.